Hello there stitchy friends, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel Catkin and Lily where we talk all things cross stitch and today is something a little bit different because I have a very special guest with me today I have my mum Linda. Hello everyone, <laughs> it's quite an honour to be included in this I feel. <laughs> well I thought it was only fair since it was you that got me into cross stitching and I think everyone would be really excited to uh, yeah hear your story as well and see what you're working on and uh, yeah just have a little sofa chat. So I guess let's start then with how did you start cross stitching? Well actually I can't really remember except <laughs> it was many years ago um, because I've produced quite a lot of cross stitch and other sorts of stitching as well so um, I can't really remember how it started. I do know I have mm. some Lilliput Lane cottages, which I collected oh, yes. many years ago. And the first designs I stitched were cross stitch designs based oh. on the Lilliput Lane cottages. Oh, okay. Yes, I remember the cottages. I don't know if I remember the cross stitches, but you're right, she does have a lot of cross stitch. It is incredible going around the house and there's just the walls are just full of beautiful pieces of cross stitch so yeah I guess it wasn't really surprising that I was going to get into that no. as well. So with all that said with a lot of cross stitching I was going to ask you what your favourite thing is that you've ever cross stitched. That's a difficult one <laughs> yes. because there are so many to choose from but you did give me forewarning so I did wander around the house and have a little look. I'm excited because I haven't seen this. And Kat doesn't know, but it's actually my tiger. Oh, yes. Right, let's give everyone a good look at that. Wow. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. I think if you saw that, you'd probably think it was a picture. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. There's quite a lot of pearlescent snow effect oh, uh, yes. on the branches. It's quite detailed. I think it was a Dimensions Gold kit. Ah, that sounds, yes. Um, so it took me quite a long time. And for a long time, it hung on the kitchen wall. And every time mm. I walked into the kitchen and saw it, I just, I've just really enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed doing it. Mm. And I just enjoy having it. It is. That is really majestic. I'm having a good look at it now because, as I say, I've probably not, not looked at it. It's framed beautifully as well. I'm going to give you one more look so you can see I don't know whether the camera will pick up there is all the beautiful sparkle on here wow yeah I can see where you picked that that is absolutely gorgeous thank you yes. love that fabulous so what about was that obviously that was quite a complicated piece to stitch there's lots of back mm. stitch and lots of detail on there what about have you had anything else that was particularly difficult or complicated um, yes, something that I stitched, um, I bought it at a craft fair. I can't remember who the designer was, mm -hmm. but it wasn't cross stitch. Oh. It was, uh, I'll show you. <laughs> ah, yes. It's that one. Ah, okay. Yes, look at that. That is a lot. Is it going to pick it up? Now, obviously, I've got a bit of glare. If I turn it like that, I think I'm going to try and bring some of it in, see if it will pick up. That's a lot of specialty stitches, isn't it? Yes, it was actually every single stitch was charted um, and you really had to follow the chart very intricately. And I used a laying tool on the ca um, to, to make the threads lay flat it's... on the canvas work. Um, and I'm, it was I'm, also I'm checking now. <laughs> That's... I don't know whether you guys will have been able to see when I held it up. That is so neat. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it really is. And the colours are amazing as well, actually, on that. You know you've got some Karen Wildflowers threads? Water for one lilies. Of, water, water lilies for, yes. your, for your one of your ladies. Is that... Those are the same threads. Those are gorgeous, aren't they? So that's the colour changing with the Karen Water Lilies. Mm. Look, I'm just going to show this off again. Look at that. Yeah, that's absolutely, it's really pretty. I've never really fancied doing something that's not cross stitch. But yeah. I mean, that really is, yeah. I can see why that would have taken a while. So, yes. 
should very rightly be proud of that one. Thank you. It was very enjoyable to do. Mm. And it was again, a long time ago. Lovely framing. Oh, yes. yes. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Fantastic. Right, what else have we have we got? Um what about well, I mean, I said, did you have an FFO to bring to share? Well, we've got two FFOs. Was there anything else? Have you got uh, more FFOs or are we done with you? Let me have a little look. FFOs. <laughs> we all like an FFO. I have brought another one, as it so happens. Excellent. And this is, make sure we've got it the right way up. Yes, please Poppy, do. A poppy's design. So I did have one upside down earlier. <laughs> now, this was a, a cross-stitch uh, and back-stitch um, chart that I purchased, nice. I think it was when we were in Ghent, on a cycling trip. I do a lot of um, cycling. And um, there were a lot of poppies that we cycled past on that holiday. And I'm very fond of poppies. Mm -hmm. And I've done quite a few different designs that have featured poppies. In fact, mm. have you, in the lounge, I've got three poppy... No, actually, one's a tulip. <laughs> I tell a lie. Um, <laughs> she does know her flowers, honestly. <laughs> um, and that one was very enjoyable. And I, I really, I really like the design. Mm. And again, okay. I'm very ple pleased with the, the framer I went to mm. um, help me choose this, this frame. The framing which, is really Which I'm lovely. pleased with as well. It is, again, absolutely lovely. It's a really nice combination, isn't it, with the poppies and then the, the back stitch. Mm. Again, really, really detailed. It's very, um, very realistic. And it's a lovely reminder of the cycling tour that I did. Yeah. That, that is absolutely beautiful. Well, we're being spoilt <laughs> for... Absolutely lovely FFOs, but Thank you. as I say, there were quite a lot to choose from. I think that's fair. What about UFOs? You finished so many. Have you ever have you had one that you've ever had an unfinished object that you haven't finished? I had to think about this one for a bit because I will. I'm pretty good. Once I start something, I finish it, and I never pick something up unless I'm really going to love it so much that I definitely want to finish it. Um, I was given um, a kit by my sister for a birthday present mm -hmm. and I got near the end and ran out of the beads that were supplied and couldn't get any more of the same. Mm -hmm. It was a DMC kit, mm -hmm. um, a black work design and DMC were unable to supply more of the same beads. Mm -hmm. So I was at an impasse. So it sat in the drawer for quite a few years, actually. And then I was having a clear out and I thought either I throw this away or I do something with it. So I did something with it and I've brought it along. Excellent. Now this one, you really don't know which is the right way up, to no, be honest. No, I'm going to assume from the hanging now, what, thread. Ah, what okay, happened? so let me show you and then you can tell us about the beads because it's looking... Pretty lovely there. But you can probably see that the beads are actually two different gold colours. Ah, so... So I'd, I'd done all the beads until about the last row of yeah. last section. What I did was I undid all... Ev so e yeah. I undid the ones I'd put on and redid them, basically, I get... with new beads in a lighter gold. So now But there's... you've done it really cleverly, haven't you? Because I can see now you're saying, you can see that there's one bit in each of them that's lighter. Yeah. So it looks like it was supposed to be like that. Yes. <laughs> She's good. This, this sort of stuff, this is why I also call her. She's not just my mum. She is my cross-stitch consultant. Because if I have a query, I'm like, well, should I do this in one strand or two strands? Or should I do the, you know, I know if I ask mum, you know, would this look better on this fabric or this one? Send her pictures. Yeah, I know I can rely on you for some good cross-stitch advice. And you can see why. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to bring it in again and give you another look at that. It definitely looks fabulous. And how nice to actually get it finished then. Yes. Yeah. Very so no UFOs then? That's it. No. <laughs> you actually, oh my goodness. I, I actually don't know if I have any. I had one. I had one. And then I finished it. I don't think I have any others. That's good. I don't, yeah, no, I'm not sure I have any either, but I'm 
I've maybe got something tucked away that I haven't found. But anyway, I don't. Okay. I don't remember you having anything. Yeah. Even the things that you started when you were really quite young. Yeah. As I as I recall, you you have finished them all. I was taught to finish my things. Clearly, <laughs> finish what you started. <laughs> well, I'm very much in <laughs> awe of the perfection that you put into your cross stitch. So I learn a lot of things from your your tips on your tutorials and. Um, particularly when you went into depth about all the different sorts of needles. Mm. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not that fussy, although contrary to you, I do actually uh -huh. quite like gold plated needles. Well, a lot of people do, so <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. But no, that's that's really good to hear. And actually, I think it is, it's, it's a good two way street. I mm. love when we get to sit down and stitch because we do, we share things that we might have learnt. And I think because of of having this channel and learning things i i love learning and i love picking things up and things have changed so much since i learned cross stitch and probably an awful lot since you learned yes to cross stitch so things have moved on so much that there's always always you know time to learn new things so i guess actually that leads us quite nicely into i was going to ask you about what's your kind of favorite or must have cross stitch accessories which again might well have changed since there's lots more bits and bobs and things I think associated with cross stitch now. Well, you introduced me to needle minders, which I have to say are a revelation. <laughs> I tend to always have my my needles stuck in the fabric somewhere, and then I can't find them. So a needle yeah. minder is a great accessory. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of those. Um, and I also quite like using a hoop, particularly on a large project. Yeah, and I've also used. Um, a frame, a wooden frame with mm. roll, with rolls, the scroll ones, the scroll ones um, which on large projects I've mm. found quite convenient. Yeah. Um, but I also do some stitching in hand, particularly on small projects, which I take away with me on holiday. Yeah. Always, always have some cross stitch to hand. Yes, always. Yes, we um, definitely both like to have some cross stitch to hand. Yes. <laughs> um, so I think that's pro that's probably it, really. I'm, yeah. I, there's there's nothing particularly special that no needle minders is definitely my mm. my kind of go-to on that one and i find it really fascinating that i have only ever stitched in hand despite the fact that mum does both we'll use a hoop or in hand mm. i obviously just picked up the i was thinking about that i reckon that's because i would have started with something small so you probably would have had me stitch in hand yes. for that because it would have probably made sense and um, i probably just never went to a hoop i remember you stitching on binker I have on my pin board at oh, home my goodness, yes. one of Kat's first cross stitch projects and it's on blue binker. Yeah. And it says I love my mum or I yes. love mum. I can't remember now, but it's been on the pin board for years. <laughs> We're going to need to do part 2 of this. You need to bring that one to show. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but yeah, that would be um that'd be quite fun actually. <laughs> Right, what else have we got? Oh, I was going to ask you, since you have been cross-stitching for so long, <laughs> what's your best tip? Because I've picked up, like as I say, I've learnt notes from mum. Um, and yeah, I'm sure a lot of the things that I do and I know and the tips I have have probably come from mum, even if I've forgotten that's where they came from in the first place. But so what would you say? What's your best tip, either practical or mindset, I guess, for a beginner or any cross-stitcher? Well, I think the most important thing for a beginner to um, to know is that all the tops of the crosses should go in the same direction. That makes such a difference mm. to the finish effect. Yeah. So that that's yeah. that is, I think, the most important thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I always say if I always say there are literally no rules in cross stitch. And if the only way that you can cross stitch is to have them go in different directions, then fine. But that is as close to any mm. rule as I would have. It, I do think it does make the finished effect look nicer if it's consistent. As I say, if that's too much trouble for you, fine. If the only way you can cross stitch is to not worry about that, fine. But yeah, that's as close as I would get mm, you're to, to having... I definitely think it does... Um, and I've talked about it on this channel before because my first cross stitch piece, or not my first one, because you've heard about my first one, and I don't know if the top arms all go the same way, oh, but 
the mice that I have hanging downstairs. I've talked about this on the channel before. That was a very early piece and the top arms do not all go the same way. So you didn't teach me that one. But you probably did. I probably just didn't <laughs> listen. <laughs> it's, it's probably fair. <laughs> but yes, yeah, it's a, it is a really good tip. I do think it makes things look neat. Brilliant. Right, well, we need to start wrapping up a little bit, I think, because we're going to get in trouble if we're up here having a chat for too long, uh, <laughs> because we're supposed to be going out for a meal tonight. Um, My work in progress. But I know, no, I know, I Sorry, know. I've not, I've not forgotten. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I thought, you know, better. We need to start wrapping up. And of course, yes, we can't wrap up without your whips. How many whips do you have, Mum? Two. <laughs> Yes. Just two. Two. Two two whips. So we're not the same in how many whips. I'm I used to be probably that. And as you know, I now have a few more. So would you like to show us the whips? Yes. yes. Shall I do, do you want shall I do this one first? I've got one on the side okay. here, because this is a large one, so I've popped it on my on my board. So well I tell you what, have you got the picture there to okay. show them what you're working on? This is a big one. This is this. It's a Victorian doll's house, and it's by um, Peiko. Yeah. And I bought the whole kit. It came as a kit. This was a, so this was a kit, so you're stitching it with all the kit. And the threads are involved. provided. They're, they're their own reference numbers. They're not DNC oh, okay. numbers. So they're not. Okay, and here's where it is. Look at that. Actually, right, hang on. I better bring it back so you can see all of that. And unlike Kat, I tend to start in the middle and then work up to the top left corner and then work down from there. Um, but I'm left-handed and I wondered whether Cat goes from the bottom right-hand corner up. And I wonder whether that's your right-handed. So I yeah. wonder whether there's a connection there. Uh, there definitely could be. I think mm. there is, there feels a more natural direction to stitch. So yes, mm. yeah. And how are you enjoying this one? Is it? Oh, very much. Um, I it is on fourteen count Ada. Um, I've worked on even weave um, quite a lot, and I enjoy even weave. Um, but the fourteen count Ada makes it an easy one to stitch. Yeah, because um, yeah, there's quite a lot of detail in there as well, isn't there? You can see there's, there's some there's a lot um, of back stitch to go on there. Yeah, so still. there's some bits of back stitch in here as well. But yeah, it's quite detailed. It's lovely, really, really nice. So you've got um, you'll be working on this one for a while. Then you've got uh, got quite a bit to go. But you have another one. We did say there are two. So tell us about your second whip. How did you start stitching this one? Well, it's a direct result of you <laughs> showing designs you'd bought from Pigeon Coop. Yeah. And I looked at the website and fell in love with the design myself. I love them all, but there was one in particular I wanted to stitch called Winding River. So I'm now part way through it. Yes. So I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see what it looks like. And this was really interesting before I show you because I had seen it originally as a circular design. And when I went and bought it, realised that it does actually come as a square design and you can stitch the full square or the circle and at some point when I do it I'm probably going to do the circular one but mum is doing the square version so yeah so there we go that is where mum's up to I love this one so much I it, really do it's on 16 count Ada it's lovely it's really nice this and it uses it's just cheerful isn't it something with the sunshine yes and it's love it's quite easy to do because um, it's in sections, so if you want a bit of easy stitching, um, you can just do a block of mm. sun ray. Oh, I love that. Yes. Well, clearly we both do, and it is. It was quite interesting to me actually because we, I would say, we don't always have the hugest overlap in what we stitch. Mm. I love everything that Mum stitches, but it's not always stuff that I would pick to stitch. Mm. But just occasionally we have those ones where we both really. Love that. I mean, that's how I ended up stitching the bothy threads, the Derwent Water Design Spring um, that I'm stitching at the moment is because mum had stitched uh, summer and winter and I love them so much. I thought I would stitch the spring. So, yeah, we definitely enable each other sometimes, don't yes, we? Yes, yes. Yes. But I also think it's really nice that we do have different different styles that we stitch because, I yeah, it's it's fun to compare. 
And you have quite a lot of knowledge of different websites. And so when you mention somewhere, I often go and have a look and think, oh, yes, mm. <laughs> that's yeah. uh, something I didn't, I wasn't aware of. Yeah, mm. that reminds me, I was going to ask you earlier and I completely forgot to ask you, um, what's your favourite thing that I've stitched? Well, I'm curious. <laughs> obviously your heed. Yes. Is an absolutely amazing mm. picture. There's so much detail, so intricate. Mm. And uh, that I would never actually undertake something as complex as that. Mm. But I have to say my favourite are the three elephants. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is, it is, it's just three elephants um, yeah. with blue sky behind and grasses in front and it's yeah. so realistic looking again it looks like a photograph yes, yes. And i've it, had that comment a lot people come in and see it and they even if they know i've got cross stitch they go oh no but that one's not and it's like no it is mm. it is the colors are beautiful mm. as well and even mm. the frame really sets it off so you walk into your lounge and and yeah. there it is and i i i that, yeah. i think i i love all the ones you've yeah. done um yeah no, the gothy thread ones are really nice. The, all the little animals, yes. um, they're, they're really cute. Yeah. Uh, particularly the rabbit. Like the rabbit. Yes, the rabbit, rabbit's yes. very cute. And you can actually see the elephants if you want to see what we're talking about. Cause obviously, I don't have that here because I didn't know what she was going to, what she was going to say, um, what you were going to pick. Um, but it is actually in. There's a Floss Tube episode. I will try and link it in the description. Uh, I think it might have been number five or so, and it was basically me showing off some, um, it was my house tour one, and I did walk around, mm. and the elephants are in there, the bothy animals are in there. But yeah, so if you want to see what that elephant's one looks like, um, which was also, it was a dimensions kit. Yes. So again, same as um, my tiger. as the tiger. Yeah, they do get such mm. good detail in mm. there. It's um, it's lovely. So yes, so if you want to see the elephants, go and have a look at that video. I will, I'll link that one for you if you want to, to have a peek. I'm glad I remembered that one in the end. And I guess that's really just the last bit is, is there anything that's on your wish list to stitch? Because my wish list is, uh, <laughs> yes, my wish list is ridiculous. Um, um, let alone your wish list, what you've already got <laughs> lined up. My stash. I mean, don't, don't, don't you have a whole, you have several books like Emma, Cong Emma Congdon designs that you wish I, to do? I do. And yes. So yes, my <laughs> wish list and list of things like uh, and the actual stuff I already have is is huge. Yeah, that you don't do that either, really. But you may maybe you've got something lined up that you think you might do next. The only other thing I've got lined up <laughs> is <laughs> the Yay. autumn design, the autumn one that that you brought me. I did, I did. <laughs> As I a bought treat, it for mum. a very kind treat. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to starting yeah. it. But I, I like to keep um, a project in hand to look forward to Just when I one. finish. I like well, to keep lots. <laughs> I've also got I've got some other designs in the Emma Congdon book that I've yes. done. I've done a couple out of yeah so there are some more designs there that I plan to do at some point mm. in time um yeah. so I do a mix of kits and charts from yeah from other sources yeah. but um I'm excited so to see this autumn one because then between us we will have the full set because yes. you've got the summer and winter which I'm doing the spring my summer and winter are both now framed, yep. waiting to be hung. Yep. When I can They're find beautiful. some wall space. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly <laughs> juggling things round. But yeah, no, that's uh, I'm I'm excited to um to do that. You see, I got that because I I that was when I was treating myself to the to the two kits, the spring and summer, and that one just fell in as well by accident. How lucky I am. <laughs> And actually, I should, I meant to say this near the beginning of the video and completely forgot. Yes, we are apparently twins <laughs> today. This was so not planned. And um, obviously mum's come to stay with me, brought this top to wear for the video. Lo and behold, I had this one on today and I could have gone and changed. And I just thought, no, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. You just get the two of us matching. So yeah, That's, what can I say? 
well, I think that's been everything. I don't think it's been too long of a video, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's been fantastic to have a chat. It's been a really good laugh, actually. It has, and thank you very much for inviting me. <laughs> that's all right. I hope you've all enjoyed seeing mum stitching. Let me know. Obviously, uh, drop us a comment. Let us know what you thought, what you enjoyed the most seeing from mum's stitching. And yeah, perhaps we'll be back again. I think so. It's too much fun, this. <laughs> we always have so much fun when we get together and talk about stitching. So, we do. Yes. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, we'll leave you there for now and uh, say goodbye and happy stitching. Goodbye. I can never do it. Honestly, yeah, Can it's I the worst bit. No, no. <laughs> Hello, cat stitchy friends. I'm Linda. I'm a mum. <laughs> I might need you to do... No, I need to get grip on myself and do the intro. Okay.